Do you want to have friends and be popular because you have cool upbeat videos? Well, keep watching. All right, guys, I did it. I updated Jump Cutter Ultra. Jump Cutter Ultra is an application that automatically removes silence from your videos. It used to be limited to just video files, but I implemented a few things, a couple of feature requests like audio file processing and then entire directory processing of the same bat file or of the same extension. So check this out. If you don't know what Jump Cutter Ultra is and you haven't seen my other video, I'll put a link up in, I think this is the corner, right? Yeah. And uh, go check that out. So it saves a ton of time. You can have your computer remove silence from your videos. If you're like me and you hardly ever script anything and you try to remember things, you have a lot of pauses and you're like, oh, what am I doing? What am I gonna say? And you spent a lot of time editing out silence from your videos and you're just sick and tired of it, this is the way to do it. Now, another thing I implemented in this is instead of editing the bat file, which you can still do, but uh, you can now just respond. It asks you questions like, what do you want your frame margin to be? What do you want the audio threshold to be? You can adjust these things and it will cut based on your responses. It'll also ask you if you have a compatible NVIDIA GPU to use for encoding. Now, if you have an AMD GPU that you can use for encoding, please contact me. Send me an email at the email down below, openpcreviews at gmail.com, and I will update it and we can do some testing and I will post an updated version of that right here in the video description. But I will show you how this works. It is, I think it's pretty phenomenal. You can process all of the files in your subdirect in the directory that you have that you drag your drop your video or audio file from. Also, it no longer has the limitation about needing things without spaces. Oh, my pizza. I gotta get my pizza. Hang on. One, two, three. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you how this works. Um, so you need three files, jump cutter ultra, ffmpeg, and this bat file. I will have them in a link in the video description, just single archive and you drag and drop your file here. We'll check out these audio files, drag and drop. Let's say we'll drag and drop this one onto the Jump Cutter Ultra 2021.3.29. And it shows you the some preliminary information I was using for testing, but I'm gonna keep it in there, it looks good. So you key to continue. Um, input a silent threshold number, usually between 0.01 and 0.03. You can even do like 0.001. The, the lower the number, the more sensitive it is, the higher the number the less sensitive it is. We're just gonna do, we're just gonna do 0.1, that's fine. Uh, so you can just press enter, that's the default. Uh, enter a frame margin amount, you can just press enter for 30 frames. Do you have a compatible NVIDIA GPU? I do. Is this audio only file? Yes, it's just an audio only, that's a WAV file. This is for audio only. Make your selection. Do you want to encode your audio file to highest quality MP3 or uncompressed lossless WAV? Some people might want MP3. I like to do WAV because I usually do this for video editing and I don't like dealing with MP3s for video editing. So I'm gonna say WAV. Do you want to process all WAV files in this folder, yes or no? We're gonna say yes. Press any key to continue. Oh, testing out. I'm gonna remove that before I post it, but. All right, now what it's doing is it's converting that audio file into a video file. It's just putting a very small black rectangle to go with that and it's then it's going to jump cut that video file and then it's going to take the audio out of that and delete that temporary video file. Now it's saving the frames. Now it's going on to the next one, it looks like. And so we, we can just go here and you can see that it, so it should have, should end up doing three files. All right, it's got two of them done, working on the third one. All right, now it's done. Let's press space and it'll exit. And there we go, you see it's named. The first part of it is the audio threshold. The second part is the frame margin. So that way, if you wanna see how your files come out with different settings, you can. You don't have to overwrite this, the files. You get to just see and compare all of the files. So that works, dot wave, dot wave. <laughs> I might have to change that, but in, in any event, it works. Maybe by the time I you download this, that won't duplicate like that. So anyhow, and what we wanna do with video files, Drag and drop to the jump cutter bat file. Okay, enter to continue, threshold. We're just gonna go with the default ones. I do have a compatible GPU encoder. Is this for audio? It's not, is it just audio? No, so I'm just gonna hit enter, which is default. I'm gonna process all no, so I'm just gonna hit enter for default. Sometimes it throws errors, but it still processes. This is actually a video, an eight second video I recorded off my Oculus Quest. Okay, for some reason it's taken forever to process this eight second video clip, so I'm gonna Cancel that, I'm gonna delete this clip. Try it on this other clip. Okay, just use all the defaults. Yes, there we go. I liked that one. Must have been something wrong with the other one. 
So that one's done and you can see the first one was 10 seconds and then the cut one is five seconds. So again, let's check this out. I just copy and pasted this same file. So we have two of them. Drag and drop it to the jump cutter bat file. Shows you this information about the file. Let's enter for any key to continue. Enter the threshold. We can do something crazy like 0.7, which means it'll only keep something that's pretty loud. Enter the frame margin. Let's say one, one frame. Do you have a compatible NVIDIA GPU? Yes, I do. But again, if somebody has a, an AMD GPU, contact me so we can do some testing and I can update this script. Do you have a compatible, uh, is this audio only? No, it's not. So, although I don't know what would happen if I would say yes. Actually, if I said yes, it would probably just convert it to audio. Let's see, I haven't done this before. Yes, audio only. Let's do wave. Don't want to process all of them. This probably will actually just spit out the WAV file, I bet you. I haven't tried it. Wow, it actually worked. So I guess if you just want to jump cut audio that's included in a video, you can just do that too. You can tell it's just audio. That's cool. That was the first time I tried that. So, but again, let's do this. Drag and drop it to, onto the bat file. Enter, we'll do 0 0.7 because it's not going to be a good cut that way. It's going to be horrible. It's just going to be a very short video. Don't ever do this in real life. You're not going to like the results. Um, one frame, yes. How do you only know? Yes, I'm going to say process all MP4 files in the folder. So if you want to process all the files in a folder, it only will batch process all the files of the file extension that you dragged and dropped onto the bat file. It just looks at that and goes, oh, is this all the files you want? You want to copy or you want to process all the files like this? Okay. So this is GPU M, GPU encoding M for multiple. I'm going to clean this up before I release it, before you download it. By the time you download it, it'll look a little bit cleaner. On some of the responses but it works amazing i think that this works great my only thing about trying to multi multi-process files with the same settings i mean it's fine you can do it but if you have very long files that are going to take a while to process i like to process a file over and over a few times with different settings to see what kind of jump cut i like see if it's too harsh or see if it's casual you don't want something that looks too harsh at least i don't i guess you could go for that look anyhow mess around with it do what you want boom see I just jump cut the heck out of this one. It says zero seconds. Yeah, because 0.7 is way too high. Look at that. It's not even a whole second long. So anyhow. But that wasn't really jump cutting. This is jump cutting. Like this. This kind of stuff where you're jumping all over around all over around the frame. See, now I'm up close. And now I'm back here. That's what jump cutting really is. But you can also just use it to not do jump cutting. The whole last segment I did, that was jump cut. The original recording was like over 11 minutes long. And then I shortened it to like, what, five minutes? Automatically with jump cutter, I did no manual cutting myself. All right, another way to be popular on YouTube is you have to be a coward and never say anything people don't like, or you have to be super bold and say things nobody likes. If you're anywhere in between, just not gonna make it. But also, you have to have a personality. I can't write a bad file for that, sorry. But I do want to show you what Jump Cutter did on the last videos that, the last segments that you just watched. All right, the one part where I was telling you how to do stuff, that was 11 minutes and 31 seconds long. Look at this video. 11 minutes and 31 seconds long. And after it was jump cut, it was jump cut one. to a mere five minutes and 20 seconds. I did no manual editing on that clip. And the clip where I'm jump cutting all around the room, that was a 54 second clip. I'm walking all around, doing different things in it. I'm walking, standing, trying to be quiet. And after jump cutting, after jump cutting, it got to be a mere 25 seconds. There we go. Look at that, beautiful. All right, I hope that you guys will leave me comments and tell me how much this has actually really helped you, how much time it's granted you to do things like play with your children, read a book uh, while your computer is doing all the heavy lifting for you. You're welcome. And uh, if you have any feature requests, let me know. There was a feature request that somebody else had that I also had, but I don't know how to implement it. I probably will never be able to do it, but who knows? I've done a lot of things on this channel that I never thought I'd be able to do. Again, please leave a comment. Let me know if you love this app and it just saves you tons of time and it saved your family from falling apart because now you get to spend time with them while the computer does the heavy lifting of your video edits. All right, I don't know what else to say. Like, share, subscribe, all of that good stuff. And I will catch you guys later. Thank you. The best automatic video editing application known to mankind just got better. Do you want to save hours and hours from video editing? Let's do this. Are you sick and tired of wasting time trying to cut out all the lulls in your video worrying about if you're going to bore your viewers or not? Let's check this out. Are you sick and tired of being a loser on YouTube because you can't edit your videos to make them paste well? Check this out.
Are you sick and tired of no one watching your videos because they just drone on and on and on and you don't know what to say and you don't script your videos and you don't like spending hours and hours cutting out silence so you have no subscribers? Well, I've got a solution for you. Stay tuned.